Now, small business owners here in South Korea have vowed to respond to the very high minimum wage hike. They gathered in Seoul on Wednesday, demanding changes as their finances are being hit extremely hard by the government's move. Kim Hye Sung with the details. Even the heavy rain can't deter them. More than 30,000 people from about 150 different associations, including the Korea Federation of Micro Enterprise, staged a protest in central Seoul. Small business owners and the self employed from across the country gathered Tuesday in Gwangwamun Square, demanding changes to the government's minimum wage hike. The Moon administration raised the minimum wage by over 16 percent this year and has decided to raise it by another 10.9 percent next year that will bring it to about seven and a half U.S. dollars. The protest came despite the government's announcement last week of support for small business owners hit by the wage hike, including a cut in credit card service charges and an increase in subsidies. The government's support measures are just a quick fix and are far from realistic. Regarding subsidies, only those who have insurance can apply, meaning only about a third of the self-employed can actually get them. This requirement should be changed. According to the OECD, about 5.7 million or one in five Koreans are self-employed. Data from the Bank of Korea show loans to the self-employed in retail, wholesale, restaurants and lodging hit $172 billion in the second quarter this year, marking the biggest on-quarter jump since 2008. The number of jobs added in July also plunged to 5,000 compared to a monthly average last year of 300,000. Sales haven't changed, but labor costs have shot up due to higher wages. Profits plunged about 30 percent compared to the same period last year. Raising the minimum wage to improve quality of life is good, but all that burden is on us, small business owners. Protesters demanded changes such as applying different wage rates to different sectors and detailed measures about how the government provides subsidies to small businesses with fewer than five people. But the government has already laid out support measures, including more fiscal spending for the lower income bracket, so it remains to be seen whether those demands will be met. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.